Ladies and gentlemen, it is said that the tassel is worth the hassle. Despite the cancellation of the traditional graduation rites due to the pandemic, we at J.H. Cerilia State College see the importance of celebrating the culmination of the many years of hard work and the pursuit of knowledge of our dear students. Hence, we present to you these online graduation ceremonies with the theme, J.H. CSE Graduates Embracing the Challenges of the New Normal and Beyond. Indeed, changes and challenges brought about by the pandemic have shifted the landscape of everything as we know it. But we are confident that this batch, imbued with the institution's core values and the teachings of their mentors, can surmount the challenges that lie ahead. Together, let us usher our students into their career paths in the hopes that they become the best versions of themselves. Here with us are the members of the JHCSE Board of Trustees, with their congratulatory messages.
Welcome to the 21st commencement exercises for the school year 2019 to 2020 and the first online graduation of J.H. Cerilia State College. We invite everyone to please rise in your respective places for the invocation and the singing of the Pambansang Awit ng Pilipinas. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now give the time for Dr. Lina T. Cordelia, the Vice President for Academic Affairs, for her welcome remarks. To the JXCSC Board of Trustees, chaired by a very supportive JED Commissioner, Honorable Perfecto Alibin, JXCSC System President, Dr. Jocelyn V. Batong, Distinguished commencement speaker who will be properly introduced later, faculty and staff, graduating batch 2020, parents, guardians and benefactors, friends, 
Ladies and gentlemen, good day. The past three months had been quite tough for us all. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought many twists and turns in almost all aspects of our lives. With the current crisis, a new culture has been shaped and has emerged. We learned new ways of living and new patterns of dealing with our lives, with our work, and with our interactions with people. These novel ways and modes of living and intermingling constitute today's new normal. And we have to remember that until there is no vaccine for this virus, we have to embrace the changes it has brought into our lives. This year's commencement theme, Embracing the Challenges in the New Normal and Beyond, highlights the pressing need for adapting and responding to the dynamics of the new norms in our society and of being prepared to address these challenges that may bring in the future. To the graduating class 2020, you may have had difficulties in adjusting to the new norms of learning during the last three months of this semester. However, I am so much happy and proud of you for making it this far, for your resilience and persistence in complying with the requirements despite the challenges and demands of this crisis. Today marks your triumphs over those tough challenges. This also marks the culmination of several years of hard work to achieve your dreams and make you grow into someone you all want to become. Your diploma validates your degree. So think of it as your ticket to change the world and make a difference for a brighter future. To the proud parents, your sacrifices deserve praise and celebration because despite the hardships you had to go through, some of you may have lost your jobs or have your businesses affected by the lockdown and quarantine, still you continually supported the education of your children in all shapes and forms, financial, moral, intellectual, social, and spiritual. To the guardians, benefactors, and stakeholders, your support for the success of this batch is commendable. I cannot thank you enough for your constant assistance in education and to GHCSC as well. To everyone joining the GHCSC online sending of program for batch 2020, I welcome you all to the 21st commencement exercises of the GH Cerulea State College. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you, Dr. Padilla. Now, to introduce our distinguished speaker, let us all welcome Dr. Vilma C. Guenhia, the Vice President for Research and Extension. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you this year's commencement speaker. Our speaker is an academician, an entrepreneur, a system analyst, a chef, and a behaviorist. As an academician, he is one education official who had gained the necessary training and experience before he became a leader. He started being a public school teacher, then promoted to become a school principal. He truly rose from the ranks as he then occupied the regional supervisor position. Then he served as a supervising education program specialist and then promoted again and became the chief education program specialist. All those top positions he had held in the past served him well and prepared him for an important leadership in higher education. Presently, he is the OIC Regional Director of CHED 9. As an educator, he received impressive awards. In 2000, he was awarded as the most outstanding research advisor of the Philippines during the search for the most outstanding young scientists initiated by the Department of Science and Technology and Entel Philippines, which was held in UP. He was also awarded as the most outstanding technical supervisor of the Philippines by the Commission on Higher Education Central Office in 2010. 
As an entrepreneur, he has a line of business in education, hotel, and restaurant, among others. As a system analyst, he is the national project implementer and system analyst for the Ched Stupaf's online application and verification system, and also he developed several online management systems. As a behaviorist, he manages his own center for behavioral support for exceptional children and helps parents manage their children with autism. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, the OIC Chair Director, Rudy P. Garcia. Thank you for inviting me as your virtual speaker to this commencement exercises 2020 with the team JX Real Estate College Graduates embracing the challenges of the new normal and beyond. In fact, you have started to embrace the new normal when you have continuously engaged academically yourselves through virtual mode and distance learning programs of this institution with your professors. This is to finish your last subjects to the curriculum for school year 2019-2020. Despite the pandemic, you have managed to finish it successfully. Congratulations for that. Let me start by saying, may you achieve the corona in your chosen career, but never acquire the virus in it. Allow me to use the mnemonics of coronavirus. Let me begin with letter big C. C is for congratulations to everyone for the culminating of this 2020 virtual graduation ceremony. Perhaps we can call them the Batch Coronavirus 2020. To the president of this college, Dr. Jocelyn Batong, thank you for leading the institution towards lifting the bar of academic excellence higher every year. Despite of the limitations of movements and resources, you are indeed a great academic pilot. Thank you for that. To the faculty, for your unselfish commitment in transforming the life of every individual in your institution and for giving them better employment opportunities in order for them to serve as instruments in the economic and social mobility in their own locality. My greatest salute to all of you. Another big C is from the word Corona is challenge. How the Batch 2020 can overcome the challenges in their lives and to start their chosen career after this graduation ceremony? It's indeed a big question today. But I firmly believe nothing can defeat the purpose of your career when you define clearly your character and how you adapt positively in every struggle that you may encounter along the way. It's indeed another C for you to see beyond who you are as a person. O. O is to overcome the challenges by accepting and adapting the new normal. It start to acquire different skills under the Industrial Revolution 4.0. You need to be part of the cybernetics where people blended their behavior with the demand of technology. R is for resiliency. Remember, you are not taught solely to be academically ready, but to be socially and economically responsive. And most of all, you must be part of the solution in every situation that hampers the growth of our economy and the serenity of our society. O, o is to be optimistic in life. Life challenges are part of the ingredients for you to become a better person. Lessen your engagement with pessimists. Remember, you cannot please everyone, but you can let them realize your significant existence in the workplace. N. N is for nobleness. Your action and reputation define in you as a person. Hence, always think before you act. And A is for accountability. As a graduate of this institution, you are accountable to give good name to your alma mater. You are accountable in the accomplishment of the vision and mission of the institution. You are part now of this institution as alumni. Be good influencer to others. 
by act and deeds. Develop yourselves to be the pride and corona of JX Real Estate College and never be a virus in the society. A vi virus means that D is for vindicative. Never, never be one. I is for ignorant. Never allow yourself to be part of them. R is for radical. Please never be part of them. U is usurpation of authority. When you are on top, never forget that the only way is to go down unless you want to go straight to heaven or hell. S is self-centered. Let others talk about your good deeds and acts and not to publish your own. Always remember, your character defines you. It is the best weapon to overcome the new normal and beyond. You are prepared academically by this institution. Bring back good memories to your institution than my service. Once again, in behalf of the Commission on Higher Education, my heartfelt congratulations to the Coronavirus Batch 2020 and their proud parents and guardians for their success. God bless us all! For the petition and presentation of the graduates of 2020, let us welcome Mr. Dante B. Bayokot, the College Registrar, and Dr. Lina T. Cordelia, the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Mary Jocelyn V. Batong, President of the GH Real Estate College, I, Dante B. Bayokot, the College Registrar, have the honor to present to you 1,707 candidates for graduation of the academic year 2019-2020. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the Commission on Higher Education. They are now entitled to their degrees and diplomas. Dr. Mary Jocelyn V. Batong, President of the J.H. Cerulli State College. I, Lina P. Codilia, Vice President for Academic Affairs, have the honor to present to you 1,707 candidates for graduation of academic year 2019-2020, of which 95 candidates are from graduate programs and 1,612 are from the baccalaureate programs. The 95 candidates from the graduate programs are the following. 18 for Juris Doctor, 56 for Master of Arts in Education, 19 for Master of Agricultural Development. The 1,602 candidates from baccalaureate programs are the following. 374 for Bachelor of Secondary Education, 502 for Bachelor of Elementary Education, 20 for Bachelor of Technical Teacher Education, 62 for Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, 77 for Bachelor of Science in Forestry, 75 for Bachelor in Agricultural Technology, 170 for Bachelor of Science in Criminology, 29 for Bachelor of Science in Nursing, 15 for Bachelor of Science in Social Work, 29 for Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management, 9 for Bachelor of Arts, 15 for Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, 10 for Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology, and 226 for Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the Commission on Higher Education and are found worthy to receive their corresponding degrees. By the authority vested upon me as president of J.S. Celilia State College, I accept 1,707 candidates for graduation and do hereby confer on you your respective degrees and declare you as graduates with all the rights, privileges, and honor appertaining thereto. You are now graduates of J.S. Celilia State College. Congratulations! Ladies and gentlemen, 
the graduates of J.H. Cirilla State College, Batch 2019-2020. to Graduates of the School of Teacher Education.
At this juncture, our two vice presidents, Dr. Lina T. Cadilla and Dr. Vilma C. Gurhia, and campus directors, Mrs. Adelina A. Orsais and Dr. Felix B. Donio, sends their well wishes to our dear graduates. And now, let us give our undivided attention to our dear college president, Dr. Mary Jocelyn Villejo Batum, for her concluding statement. My warmest greetings to the members of the 2020 graduates of J. F. Cirilius State College. Today is an opportunity to celebrate all the fruits of your labor and commend yourself for the perseverance and diligence you've exerted in making your dreams a realization. Today is not the end, but a time for all of you to prepare for greater challenges in the future. Things may not be going as planned, for COVID-19 has brought an overwhelmingly sudden transition upon us and has caused you to miss your traditional commencement ceremony. At times like this, when everything feels uncertain, confusing, and overwhelming, we need to join together. The institution is responsive against the pandemic to include preparations for the massive shift in education for the coming opening of the school year. Yet there are major concerns such as internet connectivity and the issues on the curriculum and educational materials that have to be adapted for use with a flexible learning environment. Our dear graduates, I want you to remember that the journey of life brings both challenges and chances. I should say that this time is maybe inconvenient for some and terrifying for others, but just because our lives have changed brought by the pandemic doesn't mean that our lives are over. We need to accept and endure the new normal and at the same time try our best to remain kind and calm. Always keep in mind 
the graduation day has greater significance than the triumph over challenges or difficulties. It is the start of embracing new horizons, climbing new opportunities, and living a better world. Further, carry with you the teachings and the knowledge you have acquired from your alma mater in the furtherance of your education and the pursuit of your chosen careers. Be proud of yourself, but humble in many ways. Most importantly, I encourage you to entrust your plans to God who has a divine purpose for you and ask for guidance in your career path. Hand over your new beginnings for He will provide you with the assurance to be successful in this next chapter of your life. Focus on the good, forget the bad, stay safe, and stay healthy. My heartfelt congratulations are for you in this day and God bless you with a wonderful future. Thank you, Dr. Batung, for the inspiring message. Let us now all join in the singing of our Alma Mater song to be followed by the Sambuanga del Sur hymn.